Hello, today I will be opening up a Commander deck from Commander Legends, Reap the Tides, as well as a few loose booster packs. So, start with the deck, and the pack lineup I have today is actually pretty good. The most exciting being the Ikoria Collector's Booster. That I mostly want to just open to see what Godzilla card I get. So, I actually haven't opened one of these uh, new like commander decks that are not part of the yearly release. I think they replaced these with uh, they replaced planeswalker walker decks with these. So let's see how they compare. I know they're not as good as the uh, commander decks that come yearly, but they still are probably a little bit better than the planeswalker decks. So, it comes with a deck box. It looks like a pretty big one for a commander deck, which makes sense. But, yeah, you're not going to really use this for storing your commander deck. And one of these life counters. I think I remember getting one of these when I got a Brawl deck uh, during Throne of Eldraine. Pretty cool. Maybe I would use this. And there's also a little insert. That, yeah, just has some information about the commander and base, very basic commander rules. So, start with the deck. There's AC Tyrant of Gyre Strait as the commander. It's, pr it's not a bad commander, but it's kind of a very generic one. Just lets you put an extra land into play and Draw a card anytime a land enters the battlefield under your control, which is actually quite a powerful effect. I think there was that card in Dominaria, that the commander that did something similar. It was a Simic commander also. I forget the name. Split this in half, since holding it is always a pain with these 100 card decks. Oh, there's a counter spell, pretty good. Common, uh, Factor Fiction. This was uh, in Dominaria, I think, one of the legendaries that came in every pack. Acidic Slime, always a decent commander card. Same with Beast Within. Oh, that's a good uncommon, actually. Eternal Witness. Might actually be worth a couple of bucks. So, yeah. A lot of landfall, a lot of when land enters the battlefield, do something. Coiling Oracle. I think I've seen this played in Constructed as well. Same with and then Growth Spiral, a card that was banned in Standard at one point. Simic Charm. And yeah, there are some rares and mythics by the looks of it. So there's Trench Behemoth, a Kraken. Return the land you control to its owner's hand, untap Trench Behemoth, it gains Hexproof until end of turn. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, target creature and opponent controls attacks during its controller's next combat phase if able. So, it's not a horrible commander card. Uh, another Hydra by the looks of it. Uh, pretty generic. Elder Deep Fiend. I think this was in... Uh, Uh, it, was, it was in the Zen, one of the Return to Innistrad sets. Forget which one, but I've seen this played before in Constructed. Elder, uh, yeah, Emerge for seven, and then when you cast the spell, you get to tap up to four target permanents. Usually what this would tap a lot of the time would be lands, and when you throw, cast it during the upkeep step. Meloku the Clouded Mirror. Looks like a card from Kamigawa. 
but uh, I don't think it's a, it's one it's a new one I'm guessing. And there's a whole the primal tide from uh, Rivals of Ixalan, one of the elder dinosaur legends. Pretty cool card. Another cra yeah, a lot of dinosaurs, leviathans, krakens. When Scourge of the Fleet enters the battlefield, return each creature your opponent controls with toughness X or less to its owner's hand, where X is the number of lands you control. Another Kraken. Uh, this one has Monstrosity. Sphinx of Uthan. I think this was in a core set a while back. Stormtide Leviathan. I've seen this before. It's always been a, somewhat of a bulk rare, though. Wow, yeah. This card, if you, you... This is the deck to get if you like big underwater sea creatures. Tramo Kratos. Never seen this before either. Hexproof unless it's attacking or blocking, and it can't be blocked unless all creatures defending players controls block it. Whelming Wave. Return all creatures to their owner's hands except for Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. And oh, this is a good card to put in here. This was in Double, Ma uh, Double Masters. It was recently reprinted. Used to Before all the reprints, it was worth a decent amount because it sees a lot of playing Commander. It's a very good card. Uh, Mlimo Mero Sorcerer. This is a classic card from way back in the day. Yeah, I actually really like this deck. I picked up the set of these decks for, I think, $30. And for what you get, it's pretty good. Rampaging Bayloths. Ramu Nap Excavator from Hour of Devastation. Another good reprint. Terrestodon. Verdant Sun's Avatar. Another dinosaur. Pretty cool. Yeah, these are a lot better than Planeswalker decks. You get probably close to like 20 rares and mythics by the looks of it. Uh, horror. Merc Fiend Liege. Other green creature. Kind of like a lord. Simic Sky Swallower. It's also a pretty cool card. It's, I know this has been reprinted in like master sets for some reason, but it's not really all that playable outside of Commander. Splitting Image looks like the art from uh, Lorwyn or Morningtide. Seer Sundial. And that looks to be the rares and mythics. So two mythics and a lot of rares. Pretty good. Soul Rings in here. Swift. Swiftfoot Boots. Let's see. Command Tower. So, Reliquary Tower. Simic. So, what's different here in between the more expensive commander decks is that the lands I noticed there's no rare lands they're a little more generous in those uh, commander decks which makes sense since they have a higher price point and by the looks of it just lands and some beast tokens and illusion tokens so overall this is a pretty good deck and I would actually recommend these if you're Looking to get cards that are a lot of decent cards for not all that much money. So, start with the packs. I'll go from least exciting to most exciting. And Core. Had good luck with uh, Core Collector's packs, but not so much the regular packs. And a Basri's Lieutenant. Not a bad rare. Another Pride Malkin. I always love getting these. Let's go with the Zendikar pack. Had a lot of luck with uh, Zendikar set boosters, especially my booster box. Oh, nice foil land and uh, soul shatter. 
Put that lay on the side, actually. This actually might be worth like a dollar at least. It's very cool looking, especially a Zendikar full art foil. Journey into Oblivion. I always like the art on this. And Inscription of Abundance as the rare, and the foil, Jawari Disruption. The Jawari Ruins. Seen this played a little bit. Let's go with the loose jumpstart pack. And lightning. I don't think that's a particularly valuable one. Though, what I, might, what might be the most expensive card in here would be Lightning Bolt, if that's actually in here. Let's see. And Ball of Lightning as the rare. And a Lightning Phoenix also. So, 2-2 two, two with Flying and Haste, it can't block, and at the beginning of your end step, if an opponent was dealt 3 or more, more damage, you can pay 1 and then return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. Not too bad. Oh, Chain Lightning's in here. It's actually worth putting aside. This is played in some kind of a, a lot of graveyard decks. Let's see. A pretty cool mountain. And yeah, just a regular. This is the only unique mountain, though. The rest should be core, yeah. No Lightning Bolt, surprisingly. Would be a good one to put in here. Chain Lightning is a good one, though. And for the final Collector's Booster. I have not opened an Ikoria Collector's Boosters in a while. I have three of these still stored away. Well, including this one. And what I mostly want to get are just the Godzilla cards. So, let me put these aside. Cat token with a human soldier. see what we can get here. Starting with a Sanctuary Blade from Commander. I know you can get the free uh, Commander uh, spells if you that cost nothing if you have a Commander that are actually worth a decent amount in this slot. And a Yadaro Wandering Monster with an Offspring's Revenge. And I think these next slots are going to be the cool ones, hopefully. Pouncing Shore Shark with a Netheroy Apex of Death. Wow. <laughs> this art, it's a magic card, I guess. Looks very, very different from a typical magic card. And a baby Godzilla. I don't have, the only Godzilla card I have right now is the one for, uh, what's it called? The, f the green mana, the three mana, one that destroys an artifact when it mutates. Uh, Gem Razor, that's the one. And a foil Sea Dasher Octopus, comic book style. Pretty cool. So, not too bad of a pack. Offspring's Revenge, Yadara. This one is probably the coolest looking, as well as Netheroy Apex of Death. And as a thank you for watching, I wanted to share one more Ikoria pre release code. I'm running out of these because uh, I had six uh, pre release packs that I slowly opened. And I think I have one more after this one to give away. But yeah, you can get six packs if you haven't redeemed one on your account yet, or this code and this code hasn't been redeemed yet. Alright, thanks for watching and until next time.